<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Imam. Today I'm going to show you how to use FreeCAD software, CAT modeling software uh, to model a mechanical part uh, very easily and efficiently. And also this video is going to show you how to how the the process of working in FreeCAD FreeCAD is a uh, mechanical mainly mechanical design software so you can design mechanical any mechanical parts in FreeCAD <coughs> so there's a basic workflow in FreeCAD, FreeCAD you have to follow so we uh, by this video I hope you will enjoy you learn something uh, about FreeCAD and also CAD modeling computer aided design modeling uh, solid modeling um, how does how this works and uh, how everything works out yet yeah. so when you start FreeCAD I'm using FreeCAD version uh, uh, stable version uh, 0.18 and it's the latest stable version as of today uh, in FreeCAD so we go file and new and this is a it's a FreeCAD application it has a uh, this kind of look uh, you may have this Python console or you may not uh, I can uh, easily close this if I don't need it uh, and you can select what kind of uh, mouse navigation you want from this uh, button you can pop up from the pop-up menu I choose blender because I'm familiar with blender is a uh, very efficient is very useful for me and it's just convenient for me so and few other things you can go preference and you can say units and you can check meters and degrees or I want to check for this particular project let's say millimeters normally most uh, mechanical parts uh, are millimeters scale so choose millimeters for this uh, particular and then we enable animation and uh, show navigation cube that's it okay and we've created a new file here uh, is our new i just close this uh, tab window which is the start page uh, when the free cat opens it uh, brings you up here shows uh, so here unnamed new file here okay now in free cat you can choose different uh, work branches uh, and this uh, this provides a different tool every workbench uh, provides different tools to work with so because FreeCAD you have to use multiple more than one workbench to accomplish uh, like a complex task for most of the times you're gonna use multiple workbenches to achieve the goal because one single workbench would not have all the tools you are maybe looking for all the techniques so this video is uh, also going to show you how to uh, kind of use different workbenches and then to accomplish because there is a workflow you have to follow uh, when you are using tools from different workbenches they are not compatible with each other so you have to follow a particular uh, kind of a style you can say so here under the part workbench you can you can see these tools are available but uh, under the toolbar it presented most of the tools but you can go to the menu to find the whole list uh, of tools available for this particular workbench and then you have part workbench we are gonna mostly use three different workbenches part workbench which is gonna be this which is this part design and then draft workbench uh, which, provide, which provides uh, different kinds of uh, tools uh, let's go to part design workbench uh, which uh, what this workbench allows uh, you to create diff uh, solid parts which is not separated uh, kind of one single body so so you have to keep that in mind uh, uh, all the tools available uh, under the part design workbench uh, they all has to be a single body so there is no gap or anything like it. they all have to be touching different components of the thing has to be touching 
so first thing to do with this uh, we have to create a body solid body create a new body and make it active so here under the model uh, we have a body now and it has an origin and uh, you can see it has axis and it had planes different planes we can see these things by pressing a space bar it shows us uh, so it shows and hides the thing the body so it goes gray or color depending on whether it's showing or it's not showing so here yeah, now it's showing you can see the body has three different planes and also it has three different axes for us to use uh, to create any kind of part or mechanical cat model so this is uh, going to be useful for referencing our model. So all lies inside the body as it shows. Uh, now hide this origin because as we don't need it at the moment. As we created the body now we are going to create a sketch. A sketch of different sections of our body. Uh, so I'm gonna create something like a more like a poly or something and see so let's create a sketch of this poly uh, so under the body we find a sketch create a new sketch we can cause and we have to select a plane here so we can select say uh, I want to select uh, the right this plane which is the right plane or you can say left plane and this is the top or bottom plane and this is uh, the front plane so here under in the view cube you can view the um, the rendering of everything uh, say isometric so you can see top and the front if you click this uh, cube you, you're gonna able you are you should be able to change the view angle from where you're looking at at the model so now i want to do work on the right plane for my, my sketch so, so so now i'm inside the sketch and the sketcher workbench it automatically switch it to a sketcher work workbench uh, it has different tools for to do draw 2d drawing 2d a sketch of the section of the model uh, I'm interested so I'm gonna draw say from the center you see use the circle tool and it has different three rim points a center and rim points I use the center and rim points and click and uh, now I just move the mouse uh, I put randomly and click again and then it creates a circle and now I want to define the radius of this circle by using this constraint I should be able to define different geometry parameters uh, so I want to define the radius constraint and arc of circle I can use this radius you click on the circle and now it uh, gives us this uh, window to provide the radius so let's say I give it 30 millimeter and I can give it a name for this particular dimension say radius of the pulley radius of the I'm not I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it correct um, poly what is it exactly poly let me find out quickly I know poly mechanical anyway radius uh, let's put Yes. Now, now our drawing a sketch is out of uh, is now zoomed in. We can't see every in each part. We can press this button to fit the whole content on the screen, so we can see everything on the screen. No 
now we have this uh, I think this enough let's what we have to do here we can see for this particular sketch drawing we only have one circle we have one constraint called radius another one is uh, like uh, from the radius is coming out from the center and the elements are one circle and then it's automatically putting constraint or can we can close let's click this again to fit everything inside the window now we see under the body we have one sketch which is a 2d body if we click on this one which is gives us an isometric view we see it's lying on the we show all the planes so it's lying on the right plane it should be lying on the right plane yeah it's, it's lying on the right plane and now let's hide this um, now we what we want to do because it's a 2d we want to extrude a solid object uh, from this 2d so for that we have to use from the part design tool we have to use a pad tool first we have to select a sketch based on which a sketch we want to extrude the solid so we press pad and then we can provide the thickness of this extrusion and we see as I'm scrolling the mouse uh, the when the length is changing the extr um, here I say this one 10 now let's 5 let's put it 5 now we have a solid object which is made out of our sketch uh, which is now lying inside this pad object um, which is also under the body object and the pad object has a sketch at any moment in time we can go and change our sketch using the right click and the edit a sketch and let's say double clicking on the dimension let's say change it to 35 and we close the sketch our geometry is not changed uh, our padding the extrusion would ac change accordingly if we put it like a say 100 and close as you can see it's changed accordingly now there's the beauty of this uh, uh, because it's called parametric design so we can change the parameter of our drawing anytime and it would update uh, everything accordingly uh, here we have now a what I want to build now I'm gonna use um, a different plane now to draw on a sketch uh, let's put this in isometric I'm gonna now use this plane which is just looking from the front I'm gonna to draw a new sketch now for this new sketch because we know our circle is uh, 30 meter radius I'm gonna use uh, that information and the thickness is 5 gonna uh, from this uh, I'm gonna draw a line and then I'm gonna now this line is created I can drag and see the one end point is attached to the axis and the other end point is still freely can be moved I can use the drag and see move and then now use the vertical constraint from here I can set the exact length of this so I can set it to the radius of the circle so 15 radius of the circle is not actually fixed it's 30 so now it's matching the height of the also I want to make sure it's I click on the center and then this end point and then set the horizontal dimension the distance using that horizontal and set it to the thickness as we know the extrusion is 5 and we set it to 5 now it's uh, we have two different dimensions for this particular line one is is 
five millimeter away and then is 30 millimeter up now we're gonna create another line and let's say here now this constant just saying is vertical we can set it from here is but it's automatically added by the sketcher uh, solver so we don't have to worry now I'm gonna select both lines and then say equal it gives it uh, is uh, both both lines are now same length so this one uh, if I change double click in this uh, change this one the other one will change accordingly so as I'm putting different constraint they are now showing up here like vertical and equal for this particular line it has two constraint and then another one is here you can see all the different constraints are here and uh, I want to set another constraint the thickness of this one for meaningful constraint I want to give it name like uh, I don't have I haven't given any name for this constraint because they are just now they're just following the dimensions of the circle extrusion for this particular thing I want to the distance I want to put a name let's say horizontal distance say 10 and then I want to give it a name uh, round thickness now uh, add another line from here to here they are, I have to see whether they are all attached okay mm seems like this too so i want to select these two endpoints by dragging like this uh, if you click and drag and select these two endpoints and you can use the coincident constraint uh, or oh it should match it should work maybe i have to select just the point like this and then coincident and it coincident with the now I want to use the arc tool from here the three point arc and click on this end and this end and I can set uh, this end seems like uh, this end is not select not matching with this end just select both ends and coincident and now it's you can see i can click and drag and to change the dimension for this arc but i want to set a radius i use the radius constraint again let's set it to 15 millimeter uh now let's set it to 10 millimeter this, uh, looks nicer Let's close this sketch now we have a new sketch which is lying on the as you can see here under the body we have a new sketch and the old one is under the pad pad is the circle extrusion we can give it a name from here so let's give it side left uh, now we have side left and it's sketching this what I want to use now revolve tool which revolves and a sketch around it and create new solid uh, based on the sketch so a sketch define the cross section of for the solid and then gonna revolve it around this axis uh, let's select our sketch and tap on the revolve tool now it's showing something we didn't want we don't want we have to select the axis from here vertical escape let's select reference and then we select this axis now it's showing up nicely and we can how further it's gonna revolve it to create a solid we can uh, set the angle 
in degrees because it's essentially it's rotating and creating the solid rotating the sketch and creating the solid uh, we set it to 360 degree to create a full solid and press ok now we have a new uh, here element here under the body revolution which got the sketch our sketch we can edit the sketch anytime let's uh, we can set the thickness to say 15 if we want and then a sketch would update accordingly let's set it to isometric let's change this to 20 but doesn't look very nice uh, I want to set it to 10 again now we have a we just essentially saw the fundamental process under the part design tool the process of fundamental process of creating any part or model is you define a sketch on any particular plane and then you essentially sketch defines the cross section and then you can use tools such as extrusion which is paired and revolution to create the model now we just uh, let's call this revolution middle if you click and press a spacebar it will show and hide the active element so as one confusing part here the middle of the revolution now as you select it's also select the left so in in FreeCAD, the last element kind of has all the previous elements as well. So if you want to go back to the previous element, um, then you can right click on that one and click set tip. Now the previous we went back to the previous one. We can do some changes here like. Uh, changes uh, edit pad and changes thickness or change the sketch and then we can come back into the middle and then say set tip so you can always go back by setting the tip where you are and then things will follow from there now I want to create another sketch uh, let's we know this is about 10 the thickness and this is about 5 we wanna sketch a new uh, let's uh, the best method is to follow a new uh, create a new plane uh, so for the new plane what we have to do we have to create a new data plane let's create in data plane and so for reference we can for reference here <clears throat> you can select this face I think uh, let's not go into this right now uh, let's create a sketch on this plane so just select the face if it's a planar face we can select and create a new sketch and uh, again a new circle for our right side and i know the radius of this would be 30. i can close and then i want to extrude pad and give it a thickness of about five now just created this uh, part you see every single thing is uh, attached every single uh, feature we created for this part is uh, touching there's the requirement for all the tools available here in the part design things has to be touching if they are not touching it's not gonna work if there is a gap or separation it's not gonna work so let's save this uh, somewhere let's say part 
A. You can always say going by here, say, and let's call this in the property tab under the data. We can change the different settings for this particular feature as element. Say, right side right and we can see it has length it has length 2 and offset all this can be changed and selectable future visibility you can also change from the view like say if I choose these and say selectable false, then I will won't be able to select the whole thing now. And if I set it true, I can select it. So it's divided by different sections as you can see. It's automatically done by the model because it's a solid modeling. It's uh, the solid is generated from the mathematical equations. Uh, is dividing every section based on the geometry so as you hover over different elements sections uh, different elements there's yellow colored uh, then if you can click and select that particular region of that element and do some operation uh, as you like like had a chamfer I can select edge say and select this edge and then and yeah, I can add a chamfer if I want now the chamfer is added I can change the how much I want for the chamfer here and cancel we don't want that right now yeah we can select this face or add a fillet so it will add a fillet for this particular face so we don't want that okay now <clears throat> now let's create some holes for this uh, so select this uh, I can uh, select from this side maybe and create a new sketch for this uh, we gonna create a circle again and let's create a circle and then Yes. Set the dimension constraint uh, dimension for this circle. Let's say five. Uh, five is uh, I think is okay. All oh, right. Let's go back to the sketch. I'm uh, finished. So I can still move around the circle anywhere. On the sketch plan uh, can. Uh, let's keep this constant in name let's say hole and we let's define the distance of the circle from the center point by selecting both and then say horizontal distance will be 15 and then you can say select again vertical distance will be 15 now we have two distance so the circle let's close this now we have a circle somewhere there now we can use the pocket tool here select the sketch a pocket which creates say a kind of hole based on the sketch uh, in the existing part solid parts just and this we see it's creating a hole and now we can define here how much we want the hold how deep now we can make it from not dimension through all so it will be the dimension section we can make it like a not then we can set it through all or we can say up to face up to face face is a single planar element on the solid body so up to this side script whole up to this side okay now we have this 
part let's say this now what I want to do now we have a new pocket feature which uh, so all the old features here left side right side we can uh, pocket inside the pocket we have the uh, sketch for the hole now we're gonna use this create a polar pattern feature which will rotate a particular feature inside the part revolve it around an axis uh, let's create that by creating selecting the pocket now we see here it's automatically chosen the axis now well, let's say when we can select the occurrences how many we want in the at which angle it uh, the holes will be spread out if you want a full revolution we want to give it 360 degree and then the occurrences let's say four no five let's give it five and okay now we have exactly five holes made out of from one hole we can go back and see tip one and pattern and set tip pattern five holes you can update the feature of this in the data section as well here under the occurrence which can you can right click and edit polar pattern as well or we can just update here uh, let's set tip so we are in here originals and we can select which feature is kind of created in a revelation manner and save it now we go to the part workbench to use uh, just to show how the workflow should be normally work workbench uh, I prefer work workbench uh, for creating chamfers or I can use um, I think part design uh, is fine let's select these edges and I'm gonna add a chamfer To these holes and select the chamfer tool and then we see here now we have a chamfer of one millimeter I think let's reduce it to 0 0.5 and all the edges selected and here we can add more by adding pressing add reference and selecting that one it would add that one as well as you can see but remove also we can select again to remove from the list and okay now we have chamfer in the body now we want to create some fillets of this to uh, let's say I give it one some so right okay now I want to create a shaft coming out of this so the way let's select this and and uh, <clears throat> in the power design we create a sketch for the shaft create a new sketch so now we're creating on this face plane and create a circle and again we're gonna set the dimension for this say 10 I think that's enough uh, let's give it a name sharp radius uh, keep this constraint in name shaft radius then close the sketch now we're gonna extrude by using pad tool 
again we are creating new solid from the pet tool by using let's give it uh, 15 okay now we're gonna create another one on this face element of the again we what we want this we want to see the content uh, uh, right side okay select this one and then create new sketch and again we create another circle and set a radius select that set a constraint radius let's give it 8 let's change this to 7 now we are gonna use pet tool again to extrude and extrude it up to say 8. Now we want the same thing on the other side but uh, they are in solid in a um, free cat. I think the mirror tool would not work mirror tool should work but uh, let's try mirror tool first whether we have a mirror tool which mirrors against a particular uh, plane uh, righty we can use the uh, 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 I'm thinking how to, how to approach this let's select this uh let's create a new plane on this plane um where's the plane should be here we select the face and then we create a new data plane which is going to create a plane new plane for our reference sketch drawing or reference uh, modeling uh, selecting that face and okay now we have a new plane data plane uh, along with our original planes for this particular body uh, is created on this face we can refer this to plane for our mirror tool let's select our pad let's move this um, our pad and then select the mirror tool in here pad 3 is selected we're gonna select select reference this plane but it's not exactly mirroring as i am it doesn't work for some reasons uh, let's try with a different plane uh, let's uh, select our now data select reference we select the, our this plane now it's saying transmission failed the mirror tool only works if the feature is not coming out of the body that's the thing now because is this particular region coming out of the body is not working the mirror tool mirror tool in the part design workbench so we can't really use that for this purpose uh, let's um, go back to draft draft has a mirror draft workbench and let's look from the front we know the thickness of this is five about five left side as we can see here length uh, we can uh, put the sketch and see the constraint no, this one is 5 if we change it, it doesn't change it okay refine through the pad yeah it's 5 
let's set this to our tip edit pad here and just just press the space bar if you don't see the tip because we are now inside the part and draft <coughs> now we're gonna use the mirror tool available in the draft select the path 3 and then use mirror now for this to work first we define the plane here and working plane say front as we matching with the front because the mirror tool we have to define the axis on which the it would be mirrored we show the plane and then front seems like okay let's select the front now we selected the front plane for because the draft tool has its own plane planning system so you have to select the front now we can see the grid for this plane by clicking on this now for the mirror tool to work here we, we have to define an axis uh, for this mirroring so we select snap for working plane so here we wanna select uh, 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 grid we wanna snap for grid now it gives us snapping for this defining the mirror to line axis click on this one and then click on this now the mirroring worked like that but we don't want this mirror let's delete let's delete our data and plan as well because yes, we don't need it select this again and mirror and we define the line let's try on this line for mirroring now it's working out like that again that's not what we want let's delete let's uh, select this uh, let's define the middle for our pulley see how it works now it's perfect now even though it's uh, the mirrored one is overlapping this is what we wanted so overlapping we can solve this overlapping by going to part workbench let's save this and we have now two different things as you can see our body contains our original body we can show hide that one by pressing a space bar and the mirror part can show hide as well we want to two different bodies uh, one is body to work with the uh, part design workbench let's finish this editing and then body mirrored one derived from the draft workbench that's the thing freak at every workbench creates its own kind of elements uh, featured elements in here so one is not compatible with the other unless um, you have to make it compatible it's compatible most of the time like a uh, part design especially part design is not compatible with other uh, features created by like draft like we created the mirror part mirror part cannot be accessed in the part design right away we have to create a container or body for this let's select the part now we're gonna combine these two let's select these two by pressing shift and clicking both and now we selected both uh, select this pad from the body and then select the mirror now we selected but we use um, what we call connect objects it will connect the objects um, two objects hollow objects so because it's Sushila hollow inside so we select that and it
what I have found the connect tool was failing as why I was using the mirror um, directly on the part designed feature which is path 3 so seems like uh, to use the connect tool from the part we first have to have a feature from the part applied on the body and then we can apply the connect tool so before connect tool to work for this particular there is a bug maybe in FreeCAD we have to first use any feature then from the part and then because we haven't used we, uh, we directly applying the on the pad as you can see pad coming from the body part design feature it didn't work it was crashing let's close this and then now going back now from the part we want to apply some fillets uh, part workbench also has fillet uh, we can select this and then fillet tool and then select this edge as well let's give it one okay and we've got a fillet now let's go back to top and front and uh, go back to rough tool to create the mirror of this object select the fillet and the mirror and uh, we show the working plane and select the plane to the front and select the snapping point on and then we will go back to the mirror and then now we define the mirror in the middle as we did before now we created a mirror now we have one mirror and then inside the mirror we have fillet which is from the part design we go back to the part design now we can select both mirror and fillet which combines uh, the and then we press connect and it combines it to in one single object the connect object store from the draft we hide the grid which is uh, we don't need uh, how do we hide this front grid is for some reasons it's not working anyway we don't bother with that going back to part design now because now this connect tool came from part we can't really uh, it's not considered part of the body so anything not part of the body container from the part design cannot be used to draw a sketch so this connect and that's why is separated because it's from the part so we go part design and select connect and create a new body for this particular that creates a reference base feature inside a new body and we can hide uh, this is uh, actually this body is not shown because nothing is shown is hidden all gray and uh, this body has this base feature and now we can work on let's um, draw in this plane sketch and we can uh, define a circle on this let's set it to radius 2.5 and also send the distance uh, from the middle or from the plane uh, horizontal distance okay less or if we cannot select we wanna we can select here create a lock constraint on the same no it doesn't work a yeah, lock constraint creates the automatic put all the necessary constraints to lock the objects in place drawing so got horizontal distance we got let's set it to positive 13 it became 13 millimeter uh, 13 meter so set it to 30 meter and then height the height would be 
let's set it to 15 and this would be 15 as well seems like it's not sufficient to keep the thing in the let's give it 14 or 13 and give this um, 18 let's give this uh, 12 or 10 oh i think 8 is better uh, 8 and this could be 12 let's bring it up yeah it's fine now so 14 by 8 and then that's what i want then uh, we can use the pad tool to extrude from this uh, now it's extruding so let's extrude it to let's look from the front side you can see how much is extruding let's give it 26 25 okay now i'm gonna use the circular pattern which is revolving pattern by selecting now we set the occurrence to and let's look from the front side uh, left side so this is what i want i want five occurrences now i can add um, some uh, chamfer on this chamfer adds um, this one is fine now we have a body which is um, starting to I'm still trying to why is it still showing the plane should not be showing let me say okay let's forget about it but design f chamber now let's uh, use another plane let's use the this plane to create another sketch uh, let's create a sketch uh, line and uh, three point arc. Oh. Can just press the escape button if you want to cancel the operation. It's three point arc. Now I have this I'll zoom in by scrolling. Now let's press the escape button and select this and that line, and then we want to put constants. Uh, this fix a point onto an object it will bring the center of the circle to this matching the line we want to set this radius to say 1.5 now we have um, something in here i'm going to create a solid uh, sphere so this is the cross section of this and then revolve to to revolve it and let's set this to fix lock so it will set the horizontal and vertical distance for this um, i think this is about fine let's set it to something positive 9 and uh, negative 9.5 and then this is to 16.5 maybe this should be 9 uh, negative 9 only let's close this now we have a sketch here uh, I can move this sketch around if I want 
what I want to do uh, here in the attachment section position you move this around around the x axis is moving uh, it's an offset from the existing sketch plan so I can move this around from here just to see things more better clearly so I bring outside and uh, from the solid body now I create the uh, for this particular sketch I create the revolve now it's hidden now select reference and go back to the model and inside here we show the sketch by pressing a space space button and then for the reference plane we select this Uh, it's not showing for some reasons although it should be not doing this mm. a sketch manuator So it's showing up here now. Yes, I just uh, it just not liking this um, because uh, this is from the like I said from the part two. If it's um, it cannot create any feature from the cannot get objects outside of the body. So that's why it's disappearing. Um, let's say one millimeter is it is still dip zero guess what the thing I want to do I want to move this thing around a little bit the disappearing one is a came out a little bit to is disappearing one and then if we set it to zero so it's lying on that plane I want to make it a little bit uh, inside so let's set minus 0.2 so it will now uh, 0.5 just press the refresh button here fresh updates the everything and this is what I wanted I can adjust the position by using this offset tool on the sketch so now so it's under the sketch you don't have to move the now I'm gonna use the mirror for this revolution as well uh, uh, sorry not polar plane not mirror Evaluating the feature around the polar and see now here it's showing red because it's not overlapping on the attached to the body that's why I can't do so we have to make it like it's always inside the body somehow attached now it's gonna work the five occurrence transformation successful okay now we have another polar pattern this uh, looks all right to me so here as you can see now we created we creating different bodies and then to achieve the final goal don't be don't let these different trees or elements confuse you it's just different containers to achieve the goal to put um, part design always likes to work inside a body and then other workbench uh, like draft and part uses uh, just as own container encapsulating encapsulating uh, previous features so everything in the polar pattern encapsulates all the it's, uh, all the previous ones so we can here now the last thing I want to do is create a hole by selecting this face we 
the sketch and then create the hole. Uh, I want to set the radius for this. I is in the constraint set it to 3.5 maybe 3 is sufficient and then create the pocket use the pocket tool which will create a hole using the sketch you can see I may put it through also it will create a hole through the whole body you can see okay So this is it. Uh, let's close this and open this again. You can see I just wanted to get rid of that we are plane showing up from the draft uh, workbench. Now we have a complete part. Let's look at the isometry view. In the top, front, right amazing isn't it so that's how you create parts and a mechanical modeling you model a particular part in a precat or any using solid modeling technique you can update the features the parameters senior and uh, the objects will be updated for example in the connect here we have fillers some fillers the mirror on the fillet and capsule we can update it by using edit fillet age and then these two fillets we get we can make it say 1.1 1.5 and everything will be updated accordingly hopefully yes now because it's showing this we have to hide this one because the last one should be visible only okay now everything is updated so anywhere in the tree can update say I wanna update I wanna update um, uh, the, th uh, the thickness the let's say here this one I wanna update this one or uh, this one which is under the body container we have a pad here which is this let's update the sketch let's make it let's make it 5 which may break the thing so it's not updated it became 5 now we can see it's updated how we can go to the part and use the major linear major angular Let's press my angular. Let's see my linear. This is actually like this edge doesn't say anything about the radius. Okay, How about major angular. Okay, it doesn't say anything. Mm, so, but we can see. Let's update this again. Let's uh, no, no, not that one. Pet two, which is this. Let's update this to ten. Ten is about the same as the outside. Can should not work. Eight should work. Eight is working. Yeah. And then should not work because we have a hole so it's not updating okay for some reasons uh, should be updating if we just look at here it's updated let's make it eight uh, seven but you guys can uh, play around uh, to see the effect on this uh, yeah so thank you very much for watching this video uh, please share like and subscribe to my channel until next time